Hey all, Board Game Rants here where you'll find everything solo, tabletop, gaming, and more. Got an epic one today, epic boss fight after this role player played with its expansion monsters and minions. How to play solo, a little introductory, full playthrough, the whole nine yards. Hope you like it. All right, here we are. So I've got, uh, I'm going to play the Construct, which I think is a newer board and for monsters and minions. And then I've got all the cards here I need to be able to set up for a solo game. And I got some other stuff over here that we're going to need. This isn't going to be really a, a tutorial on how to play the game itself, role player. I would go um, check out uh, Watch It Played. Uh, Rodney always does just an awesome job. He's kind of a go-to guy for me if, if possible. Um, and uh, John Gets Games is another one. I don't think he has a video up for this. But anyway, go check that out if you don't know how to play. And then come back here. We're going to set up. Okay, so here's the board. Now what we need to do is start, uh, well, we can kind of start anywhere. Let's go ahead and start making our market here. Here we've got the um, the, the two daughters of the market. Now I've already mixed in all the monsters and minions cards in with this. So we'll just give that a little shuffle. I'm going to set that down right there. I'm going to take, these are the, the single daughters for the market. Just give that a quick shuffle bah, bah. now what we do is take 16 cards out of each deck two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen so there's going to be that and then one two three four five six seven eight, ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there's going to be the uh that was the the twos now i put the ones on top of the two daughters we set that there we're going to oh this becomes the discard set that there now the market consists of four cards when you're playing with the expansion so there's our market and we got to set up a little trashy pile right there and our market is set up then uh what we need to do is let's just go ahead and uh it's worth mentioning i've already got these two gold die set outside of the bag that we'll be using as the enemy dice and um, I had removed the energy field diplomacy and spell book those cards are not used uh, in the market for when you're playing soul and let's go ahead and um, get these monsters up and running so you got a minion deck that works similar to a market deck so you got these guys, these are all single dot minions. And then you've got your double dot minions. And we're gonna take, shuffle these up. These are the single dot minions. And then you're gonna remove seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are actually just removed from the, from this game that we're playing. And then you try and grab all the other cards. Here's the twos. So I'm going to mix these. None of these are removed. You just kind of just give them a little shuffly shuffle and then put the ones on top of the twos. And then these are going to go up here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, that's going to be our start of our minion deck. And then these, the seven cards that are removed, you don't look at them. You just set them off to the side. And then we uh, get to put out, um, well, let's do this next. Let's figure out who we're going to be. I'll reach in here, find out what class we're gonna play. We're gonna play, ugh, we're playing green. Okay, so green. A cool thing comes with expansion is there are now two cards to pick out of each color. So green, there it is. And we've got a druid and a shaman, an element, elementalist and a ranger. <clears throat> All right, well, in honor of my, um, my dumb D and D character name, uh, Ranger Rick. We're going to be a ranger. There's that. Our special power is skilled. Gain one gold after using a skill card. All right. I guess we're going to go for some skill cards. Okay. So now that I know what this color is, now I know what the. So when you're picking out the monsters, here's the big monsters we're going to fight at the end of the game. And there's actually on the bottom right here a little ticker that says 1P. So there's a whole, another set of monsters that you use when you're playing multiplayer. But these guys, I. I I haven't even really looked that close. I guess they're a little tougher. So um, so make sure you've got the one player monsters and there should be six of them and uh, all corresponding to the different colors. So we cannot fight, if we're green, we cannot fight the green monster. So this giant troll gets off easy. So we're gonna set him off to side. <clears throat> now we shuffle the rest of 
We're flipping over. We're fighting a demon. So here's the demon. Now over here, I've got these cards that correspond with the demon. These cards are, are they actually represent a location and an obstacle and their attack for the game. And you look uh, on, the, on the very bottom here, it says like, this is a chimera. I need to find the one that says demons. Here's the demon cards. There's also a uh, kraken and a dragon, etc. Anyway, I'm gonna find, so here's all the, the demon cards. I got them. And there are three each of location and attack and obstacle. So I'm just gonna kinda, here's the two locations. I'm gonna grab that location and then here's, oh, there's an obstacle, there's an obstacle. I'm gonna grab that obstacle and then lastly, I'm gonna take this attack. There we go. All right, so I randomly grabbed three, uh, three cards like so. And the attack goes on the bottom, location goes on tops, kind of in the order of, of what you might expose these, it goes location, obstacle, and attack. So I'm gonna put these up here, kind of in that order, location up on top. Again, hopefully you can see that. Obstacle, attack, all face down. I have to actually beat up some minions before I get to take a look at those. And if I do it right, I'll be able to look at them. And then once I got that kind of insider information, it's gonna help me attack this here demon. So this demon, we'll put him right up there. So we have to, so we have to look forward to fighting at the end when our character is all fleshed out. So let's finish the regular setup here. Uh, let's find out what our alignment is. And uh, let's dig in deep. Let's grab this one. There we go. We're arbiter. If I'm saying that right. And let's uh, find out a little bit about ourselves. Find our backstory here. And we are going to be a, a rift walker. All right, so we're an arbiter construct. We are a rift walking ranger. Sounds pretty hip. Okay, so now we've got our uh, setup there. What else am I missing here? We get some money. We start off with five money. Here's our five monies. And. I think we are pretty much ready to go. Um, now I'm going to go through a couple rounds of play and um, kind of demonstrate how it all works out. And I think I'm going to grab you back, put you in my, my pause here, and we'll get to it. Okay, now that I've got you back here, let's just take a quick look and a gander at Solo. Uh, hopefully you know how to play role player. I was mentioning you should go check that out, how to play the actual multiplayer game. If you recall, just a quick uh, rundown. Uh, what you do is you, you grab yourself some dice and then you end up rolling them and then you end up putting them up here in these little slots. And then everybody gets a turn to grab grab a die. You, you pop it in your board somewhere. Everybody does that. Then based on who uh, has taken from a different initiative card, that person gets to buy first and then the second person and the third person, or you can choose to discard and get two money. Then you reset everything and you do it again. Rinse, wash, repeat. Solo plays very similar to a two-player game in that you're going to be rolling some die, and then you'll put them up there in order of like normal, and then you'll be taking a die, but that's where these die come into play. Now there's two here, but there's only one when you play the normal role player game. When you play the normal role player game, actually there's only three cards available in the market too, and there's no minions or monsters. So there's just basically here, down, and <clears throat> a market deck that a enemy die can mess with a little bit. So you would pick uh, let's say, oh yeah, I really want this. You, you usually want the higher numbers, right? And then you end up putting it in your board. Well, the penalty for taking the higher number is that you got to roll this die and, and one of these cards is definitely going away. So you'd roll this and you roll a six. I believe you take, I think it's a one to two, you take that one, three to four, five to six, something like that. So this one would basically get taken and not be an option for you to buy anymore. So uh, if you instead wanted to take this, well, now you've taken this, this lowest one. So now you wouldn't even have to roll this die. You, you get your pick of the litter there. And if you take the middle one, then there's a chance, depending on what you roll, you might end up losing a card before you can buy. So that's uh, how um, uh, 
very generally, the AI works to mess with you. Well, it just sort of simulates a, a person taking a card that you otherwise might have wanted to take. So now, when you're playing with monsters and minions, there's two main differences here. You've got, well, you've got your monsters and your minions. And you also, at the uh, uh, end of the game, is when you fight the monster. This is basically, you're just going to find out about this here fella during the course of play as you're battling minions. So when you're, when you're playing, that kind of seamlessly just pops in the game. It's kind of nice because really you're going to play everything the same except for now when you get to the market part of the play, you can, instead of buying a card, instead of discarding a card for two money, you can go up and you can battle a minion. And so for in this case, it would be an elemental. And then, and how you battle a, uh, a minion, come on now, let's focus, is um, you look at the bottom. See that bottom across there where it says 1 to 4, 5 to 11, 12 plus, and then it has some snazzy looking graphics underneath it. Well, what you'll be doing to battle that elemental is taking one of these, uh, what, are they, what do they call these, uh, combat dice. So these aren't put in the bag, and these are a different shape. Uh, and different size, I should say, <laughs> the same shape. They're a different size than what's in the bag here, so you don't mess them up. And these are what you use to battle minions. So if I was going to battle this guy, uh, very generally, you get at least one that you get to roll, and, and you'd roll it. Battle on! Ooh, and I got a six. So then you'd see where you find out on the chart. You might have more than one. In, in fact, you probably likely will try and make sure you have more than one combat die. But in this case, I, I rolled in this range, five, I got a six, so I would get two of these little blue doohickeys. Those little blue doohickeys are experience points. So I grab two of these, put them over here with my money, and, and I'm on my way. Now, uh, one thing to notice too is if I had rolled a one to four, I would have gotten only one experience uh, point, um, cube, and one injury token. That's these little guys right here. Injury tokens will count against you as you're when you fight the big bad monster at the end of the game. But if I had rolled 12 or higher, impossible with one die, but maybe with two, if I got super, super, super lucky, then I would have gotten not only two experience points, like uh, 511, but I would have gotten an honor point. Now, honor points help you, of course, when you're fighting the monster, kind of in the exact opposite way that the injury tokens do. And you'll notice there's a little trophy symbol. So that trophy symbol, if there's a trophy symbol up there, then you get to keep this guy. He's a trophy. And for every trophy, you get to reveal one of these cards. You'll flip it over, and then that basically gives you a little bit of information about your battle with this. And, and, and if you, uh, whatever you reveal, it's if you can match its requirements, it's typically going to give you something good. So, and the first time you get a trophy, you get to reveal the location card. Second minion you battle and get a trophy, <coughs> you might get, uh, you might get this, op you get to look at this obstacle. And the third one, if you get a trophy, you get to do this, uh, look at this attack. And then if you keep getting trophies, well, then you just get some extra X XP. So, uh, that's very generally how you battle these minions. And I'll explain more about how you can get uh, more die and all that to, to roll. And then at the very end of the game, you get a shot at this guy. So when you uh, finish the game in solo, you actually have to at least beat this guy to even uh, score your game. And so you'd need to hit him with a, uh, a hit of 18 on, on your total of your die roll. And so that's... Um, uh, very essentially how Monsters and Minions adds to this. It, of course, it added some more cards and, and stuff and everything else up here that's... Uh, uh, these, little, these little tokens up here, the L and the O and the A, those represent, if you're playing multiplayer, a way to keep track of who's seeing these cards. When you're playing solo, heck, you can just flip them up and leave them up. So, and that's what I'll do. And, because uh, that's hidden information, not everybody gets to know that until you've, you've gotten your trophies. And uh, so, yes, this guy is who you have to look forward to at the end. And depending on how badly you mess this demon up, you're going to be able to score. You're going to be able to score extra star points, extra uh, depending on. So you need at least 18 just to uh, beat him, and that shows here. So if you get if you get 18, you get one star. 18 to 21, and of course, as the range goes up, if you pulverize the demon, you're going to get lots of points. So, all right.
let's get into it, shall we? I'm going to play a couple rounds and just show you how it goes. And then I'm uh, probably just going to speed things up until we get to the end and show you how the scoring works. And we're going to start right about now. Okay, y'all, here we are. I think I got everything reset. I flipped over that card. We've got our two enemy die to work with here. I still uh, have yet to draw my six die here to see how we're going to start off this game. All right, so uh, off you go. We don't want to mix up those gold. Oh, and I messed up my rangers. This is a good start already. Okay, so we've got, come on now. Um, what do we got? So let's see here. We are are going to blast through this boring section here so we can get to the good stuff. All right, that's better. Um, we'll just set this in here. Okay. That looks as fine a start as, I guess, I don't care. Anyway, I just wanna show you how we're gonna do this. So here we go, we're, let's, let's start it up. Let's grab one, two, and, uh, yeah. Got three die. Boop. All right. That goes there. This goes there. That goes there. All right. Now, we're green. We like greens. So we might want to grab that green. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, I forgot to grab my little, oh, man. See, just when I think I, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, my God. Oh, oh, you know what? This is probably when we're, is this going to make the cut? Oh, okay, come on. You see this? Watch, this is some live action. All, right, all the dexterity, all the skills. All right, there's that, there's that. And now <laughs> it's official. And because um, I was thinking, normally I was thinking of putting this possibly down wisdom. And then uh, I needed a little a little cubie doo to move, so uh, you know what? Let's put that down there. There you go. We're gonna move our little cubie doo right over there into the three spot. Then now we've taken from the second area. So if we'd taken from the very best area, we would have had to roll two of these out. As it is, we only have to roll one. So let's roll it. The five. Now the way this works is if I rolled basically roll a one, a two, a three, or a four, these things go away. And if you roll a five or a six it cycles through the minion. So maybe I really wanted to battle this minion. Uh, now I can't, it goes to the bottom of the deck. And we flip over another one, a will-o'-wisp. So that's how the AI messed with me, the enemy died, messed with me this time. So uh, as it is jokes on him, her, I wasn't even paying attention if I wanted to fight that or not. So I don't know what I lost. So if you don't know, it doesn't matter, right? Um, maybe I just want to beat this guy up. Let's maybe we could show you real quick how this works. One combat die for each white die on your character. Well, uh, so yes, yeah, so that is how you're going to get, let's do it. Let's, let's just get right into, instead of buying a card, instead of discarding for two, I'm just going to fight this Will-O-Wisp. So how does that work? You immediately get to grab one combat die. You all start off with one. Now it says you get plus one combat die for each white, and this totally changes each, each enemy on your character sheet. So I've got one white die on my character sheet. So I get one extra one of these things. Now another way you can bump up, this is a nice, got a handy little chart here. It says spend XP or gold. Uh, and it shows you what you can get with, with when you spend XP. So with an XP, I could re-roll a combat day. Let's say I roll to battle this guy and I don't like what I've got. I can, if I had any XP, and I'll start off with that. So I'll have to start beating up some guys before I can get some XP to, to really use. But one of the things you could do is with five gold, I could get one extra combat die. Well, that's, you know, I don't, I don't want to spend that right now. I'm just going to take my chances and we're just going to see what we can do with this guy. Here we go. Oh, how we roll? We got a five. What do you get? One to five, we get a whole XP. Whew, watch out. Okay, that wasn't a very good roll. And I have no way to really re-roll that because I don't have any XP. And so that was probably not the best little battle. It's a little Will-O-Wisp kind of uh, was toying with me and made me look like an idiot. That's fine. It's not the first Will-O-Wisp to do that. So um, now I did not uh, I did not crush the Will-O-Wisp. 
I mean, they're kind of cute. Why would I even want to do that? So uh, I don't feel bad. And so I would have had to get eight plus and then I would have been able to keep it as a trophy and would have gotten three. And with my trophy, I would have been able to look at this card, but I didn't. And so he goes back under there. We flip over a new minion to potentially battle. It's a scorpion. One combat die for each red die in your character sheet. Well, <laughs> okay. So that's that. Now we're going to go ahead. So what happens now is basically this left card, leftmost card goes to the discard. So that means I could still possibly use that stuff. And then the rest of the cards go into the trash. So this is the trash pile. I can't, can't touch those cards. So once they're there, they're gone. Then this gets put back there. Uh, if I had taken the two, I would have, I would have gotten that gold, but the gold's still there. Uh, I would have reset any skill cards, yada, yada. This one, actually, you've got a, you've got a, a bigger sheet here that goes over, um, everything with the monsters and minion expansion. So it's a kind of a nice new player sequence guide there. All right. So we're going to grab one, two, three, three dies and we're gonna roll them. Ooh, oh, we got one of these. Oops, we got one of these fancies. So these are these are nice. This is a six right now, but these uh, uh oh, I forget what these call these these kind of die. But anyway, um, these go start at three and they go all the way up to one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight. They go all the way up to eight. So kind of a, a cool little little die that allows you to really ratchet up and break the rules of, of the game a little bit and, and help you score on your um scoring your stuff and things so i would flip these over be helpful if you could see what i was doing there we are all right let's get another turn in here two five six so i am going to take what so blue Ooh, i need a black one over there i'm going to take this this guy because not only will i get this gold I'll put it over here but then i can put it right here which consequently gets me another gold that's kind of handy these little remy do's have a gold on to remind you and then i can um did I even do that last? Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did my wisdom last time. Um, but you know, do I really want to move it? Eh, probably. I feel like I want to move it up. I don't know why, because I just think I'm going to have to move it back down again. That's that's why. And then I took the second one. So we only roll one die again. Let's see what he does. He takes this market card number one, and he trashes it. So now I'm left with this or battling scorpion. Well, it's just so much more fun to just show you. Let's just let's just fight. Let's, so again, during the market phase, I, I could have bought a card, discarded for two, or you could fight. I'm gonna fight, I'm just gonna keep fighting. Giant Scorpion, plus, so first I get one, you always start with one. Now, I have two red die on there, plus one combat for each red die on your character sheet. Skadoosh, look at that. Now, and if I really roll bad, I can spend an XP and re-roll a one, let's say. But I'm not gonna roll a one, I'm gonna destroy this guy. Okay, I rolled a one, but let's see what we did. See, look at that. That was that was plenty. I just needed 10 plus to crush his face, and so I did. I crushed his face. Let's grab our three. There's that. Let's put those there. Then we get to keep him as a trophy. Let's put him there. Then we get to look at said trophy. So here's where you finally get to flip over the location card. Another dimension, the player with the most black die on their character sheet gains one combat die. If you're just playing one player, you have to have a minimum of three on your character sheet to qualify for this little bonus. So that's that. And let's go ahead and... Did I grab everything I needed? Oh, I didn't grab my honor point. No. Okay. Yeah. Now we're set. All right. So we throw those dice back there. And we reset the stage, and this gets put in the discard. Any remaining get put in the trash, and we're gonna reset. But I gotta go for a second, and I'll be back. Here we are. I had a little family matter, and then I had to work, and then I had to go to bed, and now it's the next day. You know, as a side note, families, you know, I don't recommend them. They just kind of uh, get in the way. Yeah. But then where would all the love and the joy come from? <laughs> Let's get back to what really matters here. Okay. Oh, and I realized too, in looking back, that I didn't, hadn't taken my, my coin from 
taken from the middle spot when the very first turn, I think. So here we go, let's get rolling again here. I think we're gonna do a couple more, jeez um, Louise, a couple more rounds of this and then I think I'm just gonna speed through to the end game, show you how that goes. So there's our die. So, and then here is stuff, market stuff. Okay, and now let's go ahead and have a look-see here. What are we trying to fill in? Um, we got a doop, 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 doop. And then, well, let's just, uh, let's show you how it works when you grab the third one here, right here. We'll grab this black die and we're gonna put it. <laughs> 18, we need to get this all the way up there and we already have a plus two. So that'll work. We're gonna pop that right there. And that we can't ratchet something up. Let's ratchet up. Mm, let's ratchet up our wisdom. Bloop. Now then, I took from the three spots. So I have to roll both of these dice and see what the enemy AI does. So number four takes the rightmost card. This goes trash and then number five number fives and sixes he oh okay, let's see he would have i would have been a goblin and the goblin would have been cycled to the bottom of the deck there it is all right now we got ourselves satire 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 and now i can do the market here if i want what do we got a sling when completing an attribute mm -mm, gain one xp Ooh, i like this is a pretty good one because I haven't completed all. I've completed all but one, so that, that would that would add up with some XP there. Um, yeah, let's just do that one. Right, let's grab our moolah. One, two, three. Oh. Give me you sling. Okay, and it's a weapon. So you can only have two hands worth of weapons. This is my first hands worth of weapons. This one goes in the discard. This one goes trash. And this goes here. And, you know, I think uh, I think you got a pretty good idea of um, what this is all about. I'm going to blast through it. I think I'm going to set this back up high and then slam through. And then we'll take a look at how end scoring works. Unless something real interesting happens during play, I might stop and we'll check it out. Okay, here we go. All right, I realized I totally could have taken a green one instead. So the last turn I changed it. Here we go. Uh, Okay, so instead, I'm just going to blast through this. Nothing really exciting happened. Uh, you know, look away as my freak your eyeballs out and just listen to the sound of my soothing voice uh, as I go over a couple things. Or just go ahead and jump up to, I think it's like 30 minutes and four or five seconds. You can skip all this fast stuff. Or you can screw it and you can slow it all down and you can look at every single little tidbit. But really, all that happened, well, there's a few things worth mentioning. I think uh, one time I had two yellow die that I, that I rolled, the enemy dice, came up doubles. Well, in that case, you got to just re-roll one until you get different numbers to work with. You don't do the same number twice. Um, I don't think I took full advantage of my little weapon card that allowed me to get an XP after I finished an attribute row. I think I just kind of blew it there a couple times, but whatever. Um, you know, the XP, the experience that you gain are, are is just tremendous in, in this game, and I like the way it's integrated on uh you know for one just the whole idea of battling those minions and then and, and if you if you if you knock them around hard enough they uh, they cave in and they give you some good info the first one of course that i well <laughs> the first one was will-o-wisp and oh dem jukes but then uh, the second one um whooped up on pretty good and that minion was like fine i'll tell you i'll tell you where the boss monster is it gives me the location i flip over that card now i can use that info and if you get those cards early you can use that totally to your advantage because it it tells you okay this is kind of what you need to be able to more effectively beat that boss monster at the end you know the second minion in the second trophy you get you learn about the obstacles you might have to face and the third minion you get a trophy for you learn a little bit about how this particular boss monster attacks because uh the minion is just like you know had enough you, you whooped up and so uh and then based on that information in this case i didn't really go for my my skill which was to use skill cards and get money or whatever you whatever you call it my, my my class action that i could have utilized i just didn't go that route i just kept beating up some minions and 
and uh, you'll see why. So uh, uh, another thing to mention here too is the XP can be used for every five XP during the main part of the game, the character creation part of the game. You can um, you can just go ahead and, and spend five XP, and for the attributes. Uh, you can take any attribute action and you can my dog is going nuts upstairs um, you can uh, so what I basically used the that that whole action every 5 XP what am I trying to say here I used 5 XP and I changed my alignment I moved it I used 5 XP and I ratcheted up one of my alignment die to make sure that I hit all my marks so anyway boss monster coming We're right done. time Check to fight the monster the big bad demon here so, after final dice flip all fives to the opposite side, I'll explain that in a second. First, we get to go and look through and see. We did expose all of these, the location, the obstacle, the attack by attacking minions and getting those trophies. We got six trophies here. So, we now, in fighting this guy, we get one die to start with. Now we look. The player with the most black die on the character sheet gains one combat. If you're one player, you need at least three. I got them. <clears throat> Another combat die. Poisonous fumes. All players gain one combat for each honor token they have. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Oh my goodness, demon. Oh. Oh, this is looking good. Horn charge. All players who met their wisdom attribute goal gain three combat die. I believe I got all of my attribute goals. So, uh, three more. <laughs> okay and we're yet to roll all these and then we can use um, xp to re-roll we have to remember that all fives get flipped to their opposite side after we're done okay don't fade on me now all right what do we do here oh look at all these fives oh my gosh oh that's not good oh okay all right okay that's this is this is not so good um so first of all we're going to re-roll all these fives because they would become twos we're going to need three to do that so here we go now it's a six that's better um let's roll this five that's a three and that's better than a two and this five at the three better than a two okay now let's re-roll this one. Oh wait how many ones have we got we got two ones let's re-roll so we need two more XP. Hurrah. A six and another one. Son of a gun. XP. XP don't really do us any good. So we're still battling. It's a four. And we got, what, two more here? Might as well. Two more re-rolls. Let's see if we can change these twos into something. A three and a four. All right final dice now that just means uh you're locked in any fives we'd have to flip over but we don't have any fives left so what do we got 12 uh 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 sorry about that ran out of room so if you want to title to total all that up it's 37 so uh this is 34 plus we get eight points let's see how we did all together so we come over here, we grab this thing, we start it off at eight for whooping ass on that demon. Now, we go up here, um, you can look at this too if you want. I got all of the attributes done. So that is a total score of two, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we get 12 more points. So we are at 20. Then, uh, what's left here? Okay, class color, one, two, three, four, five. We got five, 25. And we go to alignment card. Um, you saw me use XP. One of the things you can use XP for is taking any attribute action during the whole character creation phase, which is basically the main part of the game. And I did, and I moved that. And so we get three more points. Boop. And then backstory card. Well, I got four out of six of these. Didn't get that one. I did 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 get that one. Didn't get that one. So four. I get three more points. 31. Armor cards. One whole armor. I was running around in some robes. Yeah. Scantily clad. One, two. Because it's, uh, I get the little bonus for being green. And then trait cards down here got me some fearless. I'm, I'm fearless. What can I say? 35, 37. Boom. How did we do? Oh. Clan leader. 36 to 39. Not too bad. True hero. It's three away from a true hero. Yeah, I'll take it. So hopefully that helps outline um, the whole thing.
and that's all there is to it that's what the minions and the monsters add which is just uh you know if you could have come up with a perfect expansion this would have been it you know oh wow i wonder what i can do with this hero that i'm building boom the expansion took care of that thanks for watching so there you have it, folks, my full playthrough of Role Player with its expansion, Monsters and Minions. Hope you liked it. Hope it did something for you. Hopefully some entertainment value. Hope some how-to value. Uh, please let me know any questions, comments down below. If you did like it, then by all means, subscribe and see what I have to do next. Or if you're like, what an idiot, that was a waste of time, then I don't recommend subscribing. Till then, I'm Board Game Rants. We'll see you next time.